On the area in the Bay Bridge connecting the East Bay to San Francisco. Sheerholz drives one to deep right. If it's fair, this is a tie game, and it is. Splash. Floating in McCovey Cove, and at this point, Sheerholz ought to be floating around the bases. The way he has swung the bat of late. Two home runs on Wednesday night, including the 14th inning game winner. And this one to tie it in the sixth. There's a guy who came prepared not just to grab the ball, but to celebrate Sheerholz. Well, it was Nate Sheerholz who stepped up in the sixth inning with one out against R.A. Dickey and did this. He homered 57th time that the Giants have hit a splash hit. And you saw Bonds Navy referring to Sheerholz as Nate the Great. Appropriately so. That was a long potato. Home run number seven for Sheerholz. He's on a tear with the long ball right now. Nate Sheerholz, Nate the Great. At least of late. <laughs> Very good. Aye, aye, mate. And at this rate, he will be hitting cleanup. At this rate, we'll be out of work tomorrow. <laughs> when you're only on for a couple innings, <laughs> you should sort of throw caution to the winds, I guess. Correct. And where better to throw them to the, the winds than San Francisco? Well, that ball was hammered. Yep. Dickey got one up around the letters, and Sheerholz just jumped on it. Angel Pagan with a two run homer in the top of the fifth that briefly gave the Mets the 2 1 lead. Then Sheerholz with the homer that ties it and makes a happy paddler out of that guy. Sportsnet Central comes your way next with Mindy Bach and Jim Kozumar. Nate in the bay, but the Giants lose 5 to 2.